Hey, my friends, thank you so much for being with me on the broadcast. You know, I was talking uh, this past week about living debt free. What does it take to be debt free? Now, there's a number on the bottom of the screen, and I want to encourage you to pick up the phone and call that number right now. Let us pray for you. Let us believe God on your behalf. Let us watch how you can walk through a debt free life. Yeah, that's right. You can live debt free. And you may be saying, well, you're debt free because you have all this money. That's a preconceived idea. No, you don't need a lot of money to be debt free. Some people look at their debts and they're scared of it. But you have to have a good relationship with your money. I want you to think about that. That's what we're going to talk about today. So I, I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen together. So I'm going to show you how you can get yourself completely out of debt. And especially if you have bad debt, man, the worst debt, the easier it is to get out of debt. And that's sad to say, the worst debt you're going through, it's easier for you to get out of debt. Let me explain this to you. So in today, the, the presidency, um, Biden, uh, had, uh, had given um, uh, a process on how to receive your college payments, what you owe at college, how to pay it off or, or receive a $10,000 benefit to be able to pay off or pay down your, your college bill, what you owe to school. But here's what a lot of people are finding out. If you were faithful at making your payments, that $10,000 is not available to you. But if you struggled making your payments, that $10,000 is available to you. I want you to think about that just for a moment because I, I'm, I'm going to put a light on a situation that many people do not know truly exists. In this country, we desire to help those who are in need. So people become immigrants because they're in need. I'm from Puerto Rico. Now, the year that I was born, 1965, if you were born in Puerto Rico, you're an American citizen. But before uh, 1965, or before, I think it was 1954, uh, Puerto Ricans were not known as American citizens, but they can actually take their birth, come to the United States, and become an American citizen. And so it, it, the reason why they did that is because the island of Puerto Rico was going through financial crisis. It was a financial crisis turmoil. You had a lot of issues with hurricanes, as we just saw recently, that went through the island and would hurt the people. But the American people, the government, also noticed that Puerto Rico was a great port to be able to go in and out of Latin America. It was a good midway port. And the island of Puerto Rico is about 1,500 miles from Florida, 1,500 miles due east of Florida. So it was a good port for uh, mariners and ships to be able to, to dock there for security and they would stay there in the island. So it behooved them to help the people of the island of Puerto Rico, to help the citizens and to help the nation to utilize Puerto Rico and accept Puerto Rico as a territory, meaning every person born in Puerto Rico can become an American citizen. Well, that was created because there was a need on the island. So there was a need with our educational bill those that went to school and, and received some type of loan or some type of uh, item that they had to pay back, if they could not pay it back, $10,000, up to $10,000, they can actually get a fund from the government to pay $10,000 towards your bill. But for those who have been making the payment faithfully are finding it a struggle to be able to pay uh, or receive that $10,000 benefit from the government. So if we recognize that and use this as a process, that that's the way America works. America works under the process of helping those that are less fortunate or those that are in a struggle or in a bind. So here's what this means. If you have bad debt, that means you have debt that you're having a hard time making a payment and you're late all the time and you have you have incurred a, a, a higher interest or penalties. Let me tell you something. I want to talk to you first. Those of you with the manageable debt, we're going to talk about in a minute. But right now, those of you that have bad debt, you've been chasing or running away 
from those creditors who are calling you. You hit ignore, you've put them on block, uh, you don't want to accept them. The mail comes in, you rip it, you throw it away. Look, I know what it's like. I know what you're going through because I've been there. That's right. I've been in that position. When you're in the ministry, sometimes it's real difficult to be able to pay your bills because you're a ward of donations. And, and even though uh, ridiculous people think that all oh, preachers get all this money, it's, it's completely false. We give more than we ever receive. I mean, I've, uh, I've been in and lived in poverty, but God took care of everything. And we had to learn. And that's why I'm giving you this information. Um, one of the benefits that I had is I had to learn how to be able to manage debt. And I was able to help others out with their debt, whatever their situation was. I was able to walk them through a forgiveness of debt. So the first person I want to talk to are you that are having bad debt. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. You're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to write down, number one, identify who you owe and how much do you owe. I know that's a number that you don't even want to look at. You want to ignore it, but don't do it because based on what I had just said, that this system of government and what we have here is we have a process of people that will help you when you're in trouble. So the bigger problems that you have, the worst thing to do is to ignore them. Right now, take a look at them because I'm going to show you how you're going to get debt forgiveness off of that situation that you're in. You're going to be forgiven of that debt. Whatever that number is that you haven't paid, you've been behind, you haven't been able to make those monthly payments, or they've taken you to collections, you got a collection agent that's calling you. I'm going to show you how to get out of that debt. That's the first one I'm going to help you with. And we're going to walk through that, that situation. Okay, so don't change this channel. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, I'm going to talk to you about how to get out of that bad debt.